Today we're going to continue our look at the node red function nodes which are some of the standard nodes you get when you install node red and in particular we're going to look at this this trigger node. And the trigger node has three functions and we'll start off by looking at the the first one. You can see here that we're going to send the the uh, a boolean true but we could really send every, anything we wanted to a JSON expression a timestamp yeah, a, a message into global or uh, flow uh, but we're going to stick with boolean there's some nice features that you can use this for and we are going to resend that true every 250 milliseconds yeah. but we can be even quicker than that. You can be 50 milliseconds, but I don't want to fill my buffer up too quickly on my uh, on my debug. So I'm going to use 250 because we can actually see that happening. It's going to do it for all messages, but I can do it for for each topic. So, but I'll do it for all messages in in this instance, and I'm going to leave this on ticked, but I could override this 250 milliseconds by inputting a message delay. Let's have a look at this functionality. I've got a trigger coming in just with a topic. It could be anything, it, that topic. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I don't really need it. I don't need a message payload. It's just a trigger. Any flow can start this trigger. So it could be halfway in your program and split off and, and you could have it doing something else every 250 milliseconds. So you could have it for variable login, for instance. To stop this command, you need to send the message reset command to set. If I deploy this, clear all, there's nothing happening at the moment. I will initiate my trigger. And you can see here now I'm getting loads of these trues and I could be using that to pulse something if I wanted to. If I want to stop it, I'll just do this so you can see it. I'll hit the reset and that, that stops it. If I want to override this 250 milliseconds, I can have a message delay. So I'm going to put here another trigger. Control C, Control V. I'll call this trigger two seconds yeah. and I'm going to add message delay and don't forget you're putting this in in milliseconds so two seconds is 2000 milliseconds I'm going to set that up and, and bring that into my trigger node so this 250 milliseconds I'm going to overwrite it so let's deploy that we'll start our trigger off we're going at 250 milliseconds and then hopefully when I hit this, can you see the basic error that I've made? I forgot to click override with delay. So let's do that and redeploy. We'll trigger that. We can see that going at 250 and now we should be going every two seconds. So yeah, mistakes happen when you're doing demos, but now we've got the option to override. Now if I hit this trigger, hoping it should override that and I'm back to 250 milliseconds. If I hit reset, I stop. So the other features you've got on here, so we're resending this message true every 250 milliseconds. Could say a string quite easily. Don't know why I'm doing this just to show you really. Right, so hello. And then if I Now I'm sending it every two seconds. The other features you've got on here, you can have it to latch a state. So you can say, right, when when this alarm comes in, so you could have you could be monitoring a level alarm, so the level goes up to the alarm point, say the, to trigger a high level, but you want somebody to acknowledge that alarm. So when the level goes back down. Your input into this trigger, of course, will go back to, to zero. You'll now have no input into it. But what will happen is this now will hold the, the output true. So let's just have a look at this. Just make sure I've done it all right. Wait to be reset. Okay, we'll deploy this. 
So I come in, and don't forget this is momentary, it's not, you know, I'm not holding it on forever, so this triggers it, and now this is going to hold my output, you can see here now, to say hello, until I hit the reset, and then it goes off. Of course, it's there's no message here now, it's just stopping that going through. So, so there may be something here now that needs to see that, that logic to, to push out um, the another message. The last one is to trigger a momentary contact. So this is quite useful if you have something where you, you, you've got a bit of code where you need to see an on state for a certain amount of time to, to, to push it through to the next part of the flow. So you don't want the user hitting a button on the display and holding it for two or three seconds. They just hit it and this will hold, do all of the, you know, the, the pulsing for you. So it will hold it on for three seconds. So if we do this, wait for, I'm going to put this back to Boolean because it makes more sense. So when my um, trigger is hit, I can say here, hold this. Let's put it to seconds. So I'm going to have a true state for three seconds. I'm not going to do anything with override. And then I'm going to go to, to false. Right? I can, if I want to, send it to a separate output. So if I click on done here now, I've got two outputs. And let's put my second debug in. But I could have, I could quite easily have these go into to one output. So I just, I've done this com for completeness. So you can see here now I've got two debugs. If I do all, deploy. I'm going to do my trigger. I've got true, and then for three seconds, I've got false. Yep. So it's a nice way of holding that momentary contact. So there you have it, the, the, the trigger node, part of the function family, quite useful for, for doing those tricky bits where you want to stop switch bounce and to, to, to create maybe faster pulses for uh, you know different logging periods or you want to start polling your data quicker because you've got an event happening so you want to make sure that the data you're getting is more precise very useful i hope you understood it thanks for listening and don't forget to click on the uh, the notification bell because there's going to be a few more videos like this coming out but for now thanks for listening hope to see you again soon